right guys, so I just had a shoot by myself and I think it came out pretty good. Someone was supposed to call me, but they didn't. So, which I'm okay with. But um, this is just gonna be a quick vlog. And I'm going back home. I hope I don't hit my car against this thing. You guys don't know, I'm not like the best driver in the world, but um, I'm hungry. So I'll probably try to grab some brunch somewhere. Not exactly sure where, because this genius doing what was your point this is why I hate driving in Georgia people do stupid shit like stupid shit he like backed up in like full fledged speed and not even caring about who's around I think I'm gonna go to Cause it's nice out. I'm trying to think where can I get some vegan food from? And I'll probably end up going to this little spot over here. And um, getting probably like a salad or something. Nothing, nothing too, too big or anything like that. But um, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Cause it's really nice outside today. It's really nice. I'm gonna go home and work on my my um, blog. And um, that should be launching guys on the 15th of April, which is what, next week? Um, so that'll be launching. And I think there's gonna be like some, it's gonna be, it's gonna be geared towards tall women, fashion and lifestyle, just probably stuff that I do. Um, I mean, I know that there are a lot of blogs out there. So just something to do, just some place to have all of my, my papers and stuff and you know, um, where am I going? to come this way Ugh. I forgot I was see I'm always getting lost guys I promise you all the time but I think I'm going to head over to I would head over to the mall but I'm hungry so I went to the mall yesterday didn't buy anything and I'm kind of glad because you know I've been trying to be really smart with my shopping. Every you listen, ladies, I know you guys love to shop, but what I've been doing is I've been a little bit more strategic with it. So what I would do is I would um I would pretty much get my uh what you call that? What do you call that? The shopping list. They changed the name now, it's called Karma. Um, so you just place all your stuff in there that you want. It'll let you know when everything's going on. So I totally forgot the original name of it, but they literally just changed the name to Karma. And I think I've been doing pretty well with that because what I've been doing was just anything that I wanted, I would go back to that list. If it popped up that it was on sale um, and I really wanted it, I would just get it. Um, but most of the stuff there, like I said, is stuff that I, I actually want in my wardrobe. And it's things that I feel will last me and I will get a lot a lot more cost per wear out of it. So that's what I've just been doing as far as shopping, being a little bit more responsible. Now, I'm not gonna say that I won't impulse buy because I still will, um, but definitely not as often as what I was doing before, so. But yeah, so that was today. That's the only thing that I did today was take a couple of photos for the blog and, um, you know, and I like I said, I'm probably gonna go grab brunch. I just don't know where I'm gonna go though. I'm thinking 
I should just go ahead and go to this little vegan spot. If I go back to my side of town, I'm probably gonna go a little bit further up towards um, Alpharetta. At least that way I'll be on my side of town and, you know, having a grand old time over there. So, <laughs> um, and you know what? Vlogging is like very weird to me because one, people are always staring at you when you're out. So I kind of got over that a little bit. It wasn't that bad today, but where I was, um, there's a museum over there. I, I kind of picked like a, a day where it wasn't that busy, but there were a lot of people coming in and out. Not a lot, because I know that they have it scheduled now. So if you wanted to go to the museum, you would call, they would schedule you a time. So it's not too full because of COVID, of course. But um, I think, I think I've gotten better with the people staring and stuff. Um, it doesn't really bother me as much as before. So, but it, the pollen is like ridiculously high. So like I feel my nose is like, <laughs> sorry. The pollen is like really, really high. So I feel like my nose is like kind of stuffy, but um, I guess I could just chat with you guys while I'm on my way back home and get some good conversation going. So let's talk about people let's talk about users okay users and friends and and stuff like that right so I am a person who I don't know but I don't know why I let this get to me guys but I do not like when I have a friend or a family member or whoever somebody that I know that I'm close with when they allow people to use them now I get it. You probably all like, oh, let them deal with it, whatever. But when you love your family member or your friends and stuff, you don't want people to use them, right? And it's like sometimes the person is just being so nice because I don't know if they're yearning for that friendship with that person or what, or whatever. But I do feel like it's, you know, it just does something to me. And I think I've always been like this, and I don't know why because genuinely I meet good people, right? Um. Well, not genuine. Uh, normally, I meet really good people. And, you know, if they have a situation like that where someone is using them, I try to mind my business, but it's so hard. I'm just like, well, you know, what do you think about this? Because I think that they're trying to get over on you, some type of thing. I don't know. And the thing is, like, normally people will go through things and feel a certain way about something because people got over on them. But it really, it's not the case for me. It's just where my heart is at with some situations with people. I just, I don't know. It just does something to me. Like, it makes me mad. So, I'm going to try my best to mind my business. <laughs> Even though I love my family member or my friend or whatever, you know, sometimes it's just simply just minding your business and just, you know, um, or, or at least maybe giving a little two cents and just don't really get wrapped up in it because it's easy to get wrapped up in it. Um, and I guess that's when it, you know, you grow and just, when you start to grow. Sorry guys, because listen, y'all don't even understand the driving in Georgia. So, um, so I don't know, like, what do you guys think about that? Like people who are users, who take advantage of you because they know that you're nice. Um, you know, do I mind my business? Do I just, you know, um, give my friend or family member some words of wisdom and not saying that I am the smartest person in the world but I, I've kind of my, my energy don't lie you know energy don't lie and that's something that I'm really good at reading people's energies and knowing if that they're true to what they're trying to do so you guys let me know let me know what you guys think about that and people who use people and people who just continue to allow them um, and it could be a boyfriend, it could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be your mom, your dad. You know, sometimes these people, these users, they know who they can 
do this stuff too, right? And it's like, I don't know, I believe in karma, so I do feel like it will eventually come back to them. And that same very person that they use, they're going to need them in the future. That's my motto, because I feel like what you put out would boomerang back to you. So, listen, all of us are not perfect, so it's not like we will you know put out good energy all the time we get upset we, we feel a way about things but when you purposely do things to people and you purposely use them that shit will come back to you i don't care what nobody say so that's that that's a, just a quick little jab. i think i wanted to just get that off my chest <laughs> because i feel like i'm sometimes always like in the mix with um some of my friends and my family and I'm just like I'm just too involved but I guess it boils down to like I said loving your friends and your family wanting the best for them and you know not wanting people to do things to like hurt them and but you know I'll do my best and just maybe not say anything or just give a couple of words I'm like well maybe you should just look out for this you know it seems a little sketchy or whatever maybe that I could do that <laughs> without really like not really being true to myself and not being too nosy into what they have going on but yeah guys so <laughs> I don't know it's just on my mind today about that just people being users and stuff and you know shit I know some families like their mom and their dad is like users and it is funny because I, I will tell you this Sometimes people, you can have a whole family of your own. You can be a single mother. And people will still ask you for stuff knowing that you have no support from nowhere else. That they don't care. That's my thing. People just don't care. I know when my, my mom passed away, I'm sure I mentioned this before, guys, of breast cancer. So this is why I'm vegan because I'm trying to just do things different from what my mom did and stuff. So... But I remember when she passed away, and I have a family member who, listen, I don't think family to me can be anybody. It can be a friend who's not biologically related to you. But I have a family member who, this person, he's always been like a user in my eyes. But when my mom passed away, listen, for the life of me, I couldn't understand when he came to my home, and I was still in New York, guys. He came to my home, and I guess he liked the way my house looked or whatever. And he comes around, and he, he comes in the living room, and he says, he calls me Naya. Naya, you think you can help me pay my rent? <laughs> and, 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 and hear me out, guys. I was taken aback by it because I just buried my mother like I literally we just came back from Florida from burying her mind you he never asked me how we pay for anything he never none of this thing so I was just like now you guys know me the you guys don't know me on how I am so the look that I gave this man was like what the look that <laughs> black people do and I said well who's gonna pay mine just like that from that day, I never fooled with him because I felt like at the end of the day, you didn't care about what I had to do. Like I literally just put her in the ground like two days ago. And you're not you're not even worried about what I'm gonna do, what, what my next step is, you know, nothing. And you know, he had did something to my mom some years before and I just, I really wasn't feeling him since then, but when he asked me for money, because I know him. And here we are in 2021, he's still the same way. A user. But I'm telling you, every person that he used, that he was able to get over on, he is gonna need these people. He's gonna need them and they're, they they will turn their backs on him. I'm, I'm almost 100% sure. Listen, you want good things to happen, put out good energy. Stop having motives when you, when you need help with stuff and you know, it's one thing to genuinely need help. That's something different. That's something different. But when you're trying to get over, you're trying to make people feel guilty for having their own stuff, you know, um, 
look at this. Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. Guys, you know what? It's always some short stopping. Um, sorry, I get sidetracked. I'm surprised I didn't even curse you because they make me have road rage out here. Like, no one cares. <laughs> no one. But, um, you know, he's just he's just a user. And I'm, and, and I'm like, why is he like this? It's to the point where I cannot have any dealings with him. And some of my other family members are like, oh, that's so harsh. Mm -mm. Listen, I'm telling you guys, protect your energy, protect your space. You have control over who you want in your life. Bottom line. Sometimes, now everybody's not all into the energy and the universe and all of that. Um, but I'm telling you, energy don't lie. If you notice when you're on the phone with somebody and you're like in a really good space and then someone calls you with some drama and you're just like, your whole inside is just like, you feel weird. That is your mood changing and that is somebody nudging you saying, okay, it's time to get off this phone with this person and go back to your positive way. And you don't have to be rude about it. You can just tell this person, hey, um, can I call you back? And just kind of let the conversation go. And that is because you're protecting your space and your peace. I'm sorry. I, I choose that over everything else. And I, and I think the reason why I'm like this too is because when my mom was sick, oh man, I was so stressed out guys for like six months straight. You know, she was on hospice. It was just a lot for me to deal with by myself. My dad wasn't really like doing what he was supposed to do. Um, even though they weren't together, they was technically still married. But he didn't check on his kids to see if we were okay. And this is why he is where he is. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm telling you, people who use people, it comes back to them tenfold. You get all of that back. And this is not a video to, you know, make you change. But it's just an eye-opener. And I use my dad as an example because he is back in Jamaica. He can't come back. And I said, this whole time you was in America, you have a bunch of children, but you didn't do right by none of them. Not one. But you preached the Bible, you know? So it's just it's just it's just weird. It's just crazy to me. So like I said, when you put things out, it comes back to you. You don't know when it's gonna come back. But it will. So with that being said, just be, put out good energy. You know, every day is not going to be perfect. Do everything with good intentions, you know. Um, don't be an effed up person, period. And you know what? I even think about relationships. When you're in a relationship, right, and say your man cheat or your girl cheat, right, or they cheating on you left and right. And you stay with them. And then, yeah, finally actually break up. Completely break up, right? And the person who cheated ends up in a new relationship because they found the love of their life. <laughs> and what normally happens? That person ends up either not cheating them good or cheating on them. You know? And so, you know... <laughs> It's just, it's like, it's a cycle. You put it out, it will come back. It will come right back to you. I'm trying to tell you. It will come back to you, honey. And it's just really sad, though, because people don't realize it. They don't believe in karma. At the end of the day, we don't know when our last days are going to be here, you know? And um, you just don't know. So do what you can while you're here. I'm not saying be out there saving trees and stuff. It ain't for everybody. That's not what you was called to do. But try your best to put out good energy. Be good to people. Be, be kind to people. You know, do what you can for this world. It, it, it could be the small. Everything counts. Every, every good thing counts. I'm telling you. So I'm on my own journey of really trying to, one, stop saying bad words. <laughs> Especially when I'm driving. Because I tell you, Georgia has, will have you stressed out. Atlanta traffic and drivers will have you stressed out people okay i'm not even lying but um i don't know that's just wanted to talk about that really really quick and stuff and users and 
being mindful of the energy that you're putting out into the world. Um, and that's it. Nothing really much. I just wanted to kind of chat with you guys. I normally don't do vlogs, but I'm going to try to start incorporating them. I know it's very early on in my channel. Um, you guys don't really know me. And it may be a little bit boring to you guys. But sometimes I have stuff on my mind that I just want to talk about. And, um, you know, and get it off my chest. And it may help someone, um, you know, the conversation. But it's so funny to, to, to talk about help. Um, it's like second nature for me to tell people that my mom passed away from from breast cancer. And it's like I just do it. Um, and that's because you, you just never know who you're going to meet and who you're going to touch with your story. So when I tell people that she was sick and, you know, how she fought it and stuff like that, and, you know, some, it helps people. And they're like, well, I don't know what I would do if I lost my mom. And I'm just like, you'll live your life. Because that's one thing she told me. When I'm dead and gone, you better live your life. And that's what I do. You know, I cried, but I live my life. Because at the end of the day, we have different lives, right? We have different lives. And each, each one of us has a different story to tell. We have something, we each have something different to give to this world. And like I said, it can be something extremely small. Maybe you're the best freaking supervisor at your job. That's what you're supposed to do. And you do it with kindness in your heart, you know? I mean, try, because you know, <laughs> dealing with a staff is a bit much. But be kind to people. Learn other cultures. Um, visit other countries. You know, travel. I'm trying to travel more. And, I, you know, I really want to travel by myself. But, I don't know. I'm a little nervous. However, there are a lot of YouTubers, black women, who travel by themselves. And they do videos on safe places to travel and stuff. Um, I did drive to Orlando by myself. And I had a good time just to do some shopping but I bought absolutely nothing when I was out there um, but it was good to just take the drive and go I'm not really ready to get on a plane just yet um, I don't know I'm just a little nervous still so yeah just do stuff just do stuff to make you happy that's where I'm at right now you know don't worry about people try not to let things bother you I know a lot of people talk about being unbothered not that easy for everyone but you know it will help you eliminate some of the everyday stresses that people deal with uh, or that we deal with so yeah be kind to people be good to yourself um you know treat yourself well spoil yourself if you're single spoil yourself self-care meditate, pray, you know, all these things to me will help with what we spoke about in the beginning <laughs> about you kind of being frustrated with a family family or a friend being used by someone because it really shouldn't bother me. Um, it really shouldn't. It shouldn't bother me, but it does because I'm human. That's my family. That's my friend. I love them. So, you know, you don't want any anybody to do anything to them, especially if their intentions are good and the other person's isn't so but yeah guys that is this quick little chit chat for you guys it's not too long i didn't want to make it too long um just to let you guys hear my voice today <laughs> and so um, just wanted to chat with you guys but anyway guys please comment below anything that you would like for me to do um i'm on this journey this youtube journey um, it's new, so let me know what you guys want to see, and I'm sure I'll be interested in doing a video on it. But you guys know I do focus on beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. Um, so it's just very, it's a very new channel, so I'm just trying to feel my way around and still get really, really comfortable with making videos and editing, editing and stuff. I'm still learning. It's fun though. It's fun. I'm not even gonna lie. It's fun. It's fun. So. I will catch you guys in the next one.
I'm gonna go home probably get some dinner or something. I'm sorry, not dinner, some lunch. And um, kind of chill out for the rest of the day. And probably work on the blog, another article for you guys. And just kind of get it rolling, you know? I'm gonna be 41 this year, guys. So you guys will see my celebration <laughs> on what I'm gonna do. But um, I will catch you guys in the next one. And comment below, Coco, we see you. If you listen to this, me ramble on <laughs> about people in life. All right, guys, bye.